On the fateful morning of August 6, 1945, the first atomic bomb, aka Little Boy, was dropped over the Japanese city of Hiroshima. Buildings and homes were whisked away and people were blown into dust. Devastation ravaged throughout the city. Similarly, three days later, another A-bomb, aka Batman, was dropped over Nagasaki, another Japanese city. As a result of these disasters, 200,000 Japanese were killed. Most of those who survived suffered from cancer, burns, and other diseases. After this, the bomb was never launched in war and has only been tested. This shows the strength of nuclear power and their danger. However, this nuclear power, if harnessed, would be a great alternative power source. Nuclear energy is a powerful energy source. It has been known to many people for causing death, disasters, and crisis. However, if one looked deep enough into the nuclear world, they would understand how this magnificent power would help support their country. Now, the fight for nuclear weapons has led to wars and quarrels, but it is not the weapons which make nuclear power great, it is their energy. One nuclear reaction can release a tremendous amount of energy. This release generally leads to destruction, but if controlled, will be a steady power source. That is our goal. That is the future of nuclear energy. All great inventions need great ideas. All great ideas need great minds. And all great minds need great people. Madame Curie was a great person who founded the bacteria of radioactivity. She was born on November 7, 1867. She was Polish born to a French physicist. Also, she was very interested in the field of radioactivity, and she was the first person with two Nobel Prizes. She was also the first woman with an award in multiple sciences. All these prizes came to the discovering uranium, palladium, and radium. These elements were helpful in the, to the founding of nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is based on three main elements, palladium, radium, and uranium. Palladium is a highly radioactive element that helped Madame Curie step up in front of the public. This element is useful in some nuclear reactors such as the cyclotron. Another element that is highly useful is radium. This is also a very rare radioactive element that is used in several inventions such as watches that glow in the dark. This is made by decaying higher elements. Another element and one of the most radioactive and useful element is uranium. This element is used in most nuclear reactors to produce energy. Too much exposure to this element will lead to death. As you see, these elements are very useful but very harmful. Enrico Fermi, born September 29, 1901, achieved the impossible and accomplished many other goals during his life until his untimely death on November 28, 1954. Also known as the father of the atomic bomb, Fermi created the world's first nuclear reactor known as Chicago Pal-1. With his research on artificial radioactivity produced by neutrons, he won the Nobel Prize Award in Physics in 1938. He became a professor in the Institute of Nuclear Studies at Chicago University and held that position for the rest of his life. Towards the end of his life, he began developing a theory about cosmic rays and their energy. The synthetic element of fermium, the Enrico Fermi Award, the Enrico Fermi Institute, the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, and the Fermi Enrico Fermi Nuclear Generating Station were all named after this illustrious man. Nuclear reactors are structures that use radioactive elements in order to create energy. This reactor idea was founded by Enrico Fermi. He created the first primitive nuclear reactor to produce energy. Nuclear energy used these materials in two different ways, fission and fusion. Nuclear reactors can use elements like uranium, polonium, and more. Most nuclear reactors are cylindric in shape and have a fluid compartment that heats up to make particles smash into radioactive particles to produce a vast amount of energy. Most, if not all, re nuclear reactors have a containment building that is made of extremely hard metal if any accident were to happen, such as the explosion in Japan. To sum up, nuclear reactors are useful to produce energy but have downsides such as high release wastes. There are two ways to sustain uranium to create nuclear power. One of them is called fission, in which an element is separated to produce energy. People use uranium because of the vast amount of energy produced. The steps taken to separate uranium are very simple. First, the bar of uranium is put in the chamber of the nuclear reactor. 
After that, the nuclear reactor is activated and the particle is shot at the uranium with great speed. The uranium is split into Kr92 and 141Pa. In addition to these elements, a large amount of energy is also produced. The technique is also used in atomic bombs. To sum up, fission is an easy technique to produce energy. As previously said, nuclear fission is when the nucleus is separated and causes a nuclear reaction releasing large amounts of energy. Nuclear fusion, however, is the opposite process. The nuclei join together and create one large heavy nucleus, which begins a chain reaction releasing even larger amounts of energy than nuclear fission does. It is called a large-scale thermonuclear process. The nuclei contain a hydrogen isotope. Nuclear fission is used in what we call hydrogen bombs and will produce a lot more energy. The first nuclear fusion reactor, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor ITER, is being built. The radiation level will be low and the radioactive waste is less than the waste produced by a fission reactor. This would be a revolutionary step in nuclear power and can contribute to the future of power sources. As you see, nuclear energy may be dangerous but is extremely useful. It produces a vast amount of energy and makes very little waste. So, also, nuclear power can be produced in multiple ways such as fission and fusion. At the moment, many countries are using fission reactors to create nuclear energy. Right now, nuclear energy supports 8% of the world's power. In fact, if you raise this percentage, people would save a lot more money and reduce global warming. Also, the radioactive waste is extremely low and can be compared to one's exposure to daily life. All in all, nuclear power has begun its rise and may be the future power source of our world.